Skinny, pre-season's been impressive so far with big numbers on the track. What's your thoughts on the output so far? Yeah, it's been the most pleasing thing, I think. Um, the amount of players we've had on the training track, so it's giving us a really good base going into the season. Um, my seven years of coaching so far, I don't think I've been at a club you know, that's had that many on the track. You know, We've had only two in rehab at, at times, so... You know, fingers crossed, touch wood, all those things that you know we can maintain that and and keep some fit bodies on the track. Um, because last year we were crucified with injuries, so it gives you a really good chance to um to set yourself up for a, a you know a competitive season. It's your second year at the club. What noticeable changes have you seen in the 12 months since then? Yeah, I think uh, off field, in, um, the players have really grown their leadership. Um, some. Some of the guys who are coming into their sixth, seventh and eighth year are really stepping up and taking control of the club, I think, which has been really noticeable. And also, I think um, the footy department's really beefed up its its numbers and, you know, we're, we're um, comparable to the rest of the competition now in terms of coaching staff and and uh, and everything else. So I think we're just 12 months away from getting our amenities right, you know, the brand new facility, but when we get that, we'll be the equal to um, every club in the competition. Just on that, you've been joined in the development space by Max Rook and Aaron Rodgers this year. How have they settled in so far? Yeah, both have been terrific. Um, Aaron was here as a, the academy coach, so he'd had a connection um, with our club already. So um, he's, been, um, he's been terrific. And uh, Rookie's come from Geelong, obviously really successful, played in premierships there. Um, he's come from a really strong club and uh, you can see in his personality the way he played, that's carried over into his coaching and and already he's forging some really strong relationships with players and, and challenging and improving them as, as players and people. Obviously you've stepped up in a, a role of Head of Development. Can you tell our fans a little bit about what your roles and responsibilities are and if they've changed much since you started at the club? Yeah, look, I've got a fair bit more um, responsibility um, in terms of uh, managing a few more coaches. Um, my day-to-day -day, uh, role as coaching um, is not changing um, that much. I'm still involved at the NIAFL level. Um, and I'm still, um, you know, working with you know, five or six players really closely. But I've also got to manage um, two or three coaches now in the development space and, and the NIAFL head coach as well. So uh, obviously this is a new role for me. So I'm learning on the job a little bit there as well. But um, you know, they're, they're you know, quality blokes that I'm working with, so they're making that transition really easy for me. And you obviously work closely with our younger guys, and you can see the first year players have formed some really close bonds. How have they been since their arrival at the club? Yeah, look, it's been um, it's been really good. The, the two day camp we had um, down at Casuarina, it was yeah. Sorry, I forget the name, but um, that was really important for that group. That first and second year players we took down there, uh, so they were able to spend some time away together and build some relationships. And um, it's really important when you get a group of new players in that the, the quicker they feel comfortable in this environment, then the quicker they can start developing as people and players. And, and we feel like we've got that you know got that right off the back of that camp. In terms of pre-season training, um, is there anyone that's really stood out on the track to you? Kate Collajasny and Alex, Sess Alex Sexton have been two names that have been mentioned, but apart from those, is there anyone else that's really yeah, stepped up? Yeah, look, out of the young guys, I think you know two guys who, who were in their first season last year and in their second season this year, the Tuk Miller and Pete Wright have, um, have had fantastic pre-seasons, so they're probably the two in that development space that are really jumping out at me. Um, obviously, Tuke had a terrific year last year, um, and you know he hasn't rested on his laurels over the break. He's um, he's hit the ground running, and you know he's pushing for to be a midfielder, uh, AFL elite midfielder. So um, his pre-season is mirroring that. And I think Pete's season opportunity there with Charlie gone. Um, he he really wants to step up and play that tall forward ruck second ruck role. Um, and he's been able to change his body shape a bit. You know he's turning from a boy into a man, and and we're seeing that before our very eyes on the training track and you know, he's working really hard and he's getting the rewards for it. So they're probably the two that have jumped out at me. Finally, our first NAB Challenge game is only five weeks away. What are you hoping to get in terms of development from those three games? Oh, look, we want to get fit players. Um, obviously, want to get to work on our game plan and our style of play, um, but also introduce some, some newer players that we've brought to the club, you know, Grant, Rosa, Curry, these guys, into our system as quickly as possible. And, you know, the NAB challenge you know, is, is used purely to get your side re right for round one. So, um, you know, whilst we'll be tipping our energies into those three games, um, the focus will still be firmly on getting the win round one against the Bombers up here. Perfect. Thanks for your time. Thanks, guys.